And before this video begins, I'd like to give a special shout out to my Asbantium level patron, Fallon Cortez. Obviously, the biggest part of Doctor Who is the titular Doctor. The mysterious Time Lord who travels through time and space battling injustice and saving whoever they encounter. During their thousands of years of life, the Doctor has had a wide variety of wild and interesting adventures. So here are the top 15 Doctor Who stories featuring the Doctor. Number 15. Day of the Doctor Day of the Doctor is the explosive 50th anniversary special, marking half a century of Doctor Who. The Day of the Doctor centres around the biggest off-screen event in the show's universe, the Time War. The unfathomable conflict pitting the Time Lords against the Daleks, resulting in the extinction of both races at the hands of the hidden incarnation, the War Doctor. We see the final day of the Time War and the events preceding the modern era of the show, as the Doctor saved Gallifrey by sealing it into a pocket universe. Day of the Doctor actually features features all 14 existing incarnations of the Doctor alongside the mysterious curator, who seems to be a future incarnation, showing the true ambitious nature of the episode. The special took the country by storm, even being screened in cinemas across the UK, representing one of the cultural peaks of the show's popularity. It's a charming, delightful story with an epic scope and plenty of loving homages and references to the show's long history. However, it seems to focus a bit too much on celebrating the modern era of the show, and the inclusion of the Zygons as a villain feels strange and half-baked. So Day of the Doctor comes in at 15th on this list. Number 14, Endgame. One of the many celebrations of the 50th anniversary was the 12 issue comic series Prisoners of Time, which featured a different incarnation of the Doctor each month until it culminated in December's issue Endgame, where all 11 Doctors team up to rescue their companions who had been kidnapped by the Master and Adam Mitchell. The failed companion kicked out of the TARDIS by the Ninth Doctor after the events of the long game. It's a very surprising idea to have Adam the big mastermind of the comics, but it is a very interesting way to address his short lived stint as a companion and its one of those crazy Doctor Who things only expanded media can pull off, so it finds itself 14th. Number 13, Collision Course. In July 2019, Big Finish decided they wanted a huge release to celebrate their 20th anniversary of making Doctor Who audio dramas, so they created Legacy of Time, which is their biggest crossover event ever, with the finale Collision Course featuring a stunning 9 different incarnations of the Doctor, along with Leela, Romana 2 and Bernice Summerfield. There's some very enjoyable interplay between the different Doctors, and it's a good way to mark such a landmark year for Big Finish, especially with how the villains tie into the early days of the Big Finish main range, so it eases its way to 13th place in this top 15. Number 12. The Eight Doctors. Coming in at 12 is the Terence Dix novel The Eight Doctors. This was the first entry into the Eighth Doctor Adventures range of books and it's a direct sequel to the TV movie, picking up where that film left off as the Doctor falls victim to a trap set by the Master before his death. This leads to the Eighth Doctor losing all his memories, and he goes on a journey throughout his own timeline, appearing during established TV stories and meeting each of his previous incarnations to get his memory back. It's a very creative premise with lots of timey-wimey madness, kickstarting the Eighth Doctor's novel range in a fun way. Number 11, The Five Doctors. The Five Doctors remains one of Doctor Who's most ambitious episodes, released in November 1983 to celebrate the 20th anniversary. Not only was it the first ever feature length episode, being broadcast as one long 90 minute episode, but it also manages to include every incarnation of the Doctor up until that point, even if the fourth Doctor isn't actually involved. The five Doctors unite the different incarnations of the Doctor as they and their companions are brought to Gallifrey's death zone, where they're forced to battle with villains from their past, culminating in the reveal that the Doctor's former mentor Barusa is trying to unlock the secrets of immortality. It's a fun celebration of the show and Richard Herndall manages to successfully fill the shoes of the late William Hartnell as the first Doctor, but the plot is a bit all over the place and the directing is quite bland, dragging the episode down a fair amount. The Five Doctors is not an all-time classic and feels the weight of its many moving parts, which is why it's just in 11th place here. Number 10. The Three Doctors. Coming in at 10th place is the first multi-Doctor team-up of them all. 
The Three Doctors, the serial celebrating the 10th anniversary of Doctor Who all the way back in 1973, kickstarting Season 10. This story takes the unprecedented step of combining all three Doctors as they're recruited by the Time Lords to battle the rogue Time Lord Omega, locked within a black hole. There are fun interactions between the different Doctors and it's a strong story featuring everything that made Doctor Who so iconic, like UNEP, along with the serial ending the third Doctor's exile on Earth, allowing him to travel through space and time once again after years of being trapped on our planet. The three Doctors broke boundaries upon broadcast and it still serves as a nice treat for fans to this day, although its narrative is a bit wonky. But the individual moments are worth watching for, so this unique celebration earns its place at 10th on this list. Number 9 Twice Upon a Time one of the most underrated Doctor Who Christmas specials, Twice Upon a Time serves as an epilogue for Series 10. Seeing the 12th Doctor regenerate into the 13th Doctor, the first female incarnation of the iconic Time Lord. The episode also features the first Doctor as played by David Bradley, meaning the whole story could be seen as an ending of sorts to the show, bringing things full circle, especially since it deals with the Doctor refusing to regenerate and needing to be convinced to do so. It's a touching story about growing up and moving on, learning to embrace the future. It also subverts expectations by not featuring a real antagonist, the story exploring both the Doctor and the audience's expectations of having a villain to defeat, since it turns out there isn't actually one. It's a beautiful ending for the 12th Doctor, which is especially notable since it wasn't actually the original plan and had to be written last minute after incoming showrunner Chris Chimnall refused to begin with a Christmas special. So Twice Upon a Time is a real triumph of Doctor Who, defying the odds to deliver a memorable special, which means it earns the lucrative ninth spot. Number 8 The Two Doctors In at number 8 is a rather surprising entry, The Two Doctors from Season 22 in 1985, which was actually one of the first Classic Who stories I ever saw. This three-part serial unites two very different TARDIS teams against the Santarans in sunny Spain for a fun romp involving some nice location shooting and an interesting storyline. Patrick Troughton and Colin Baker play off each other wonderfully, and the story is also significant for a more bittersweet reason, since it's the last time Charlton played the role before his sudden death in 1987. The Santarans may look terrible, but it's a decent adventure with a fun gimmick, so it slots in nicely at number 8. Number 7 Fugitive of the Jadoon. Next up is the most recent episode on our list, Series 12's Fugitive of the Jadoon, which aired in 2020. This episode features the absolutely law-shattering reveal that there is another secret incarnation of the Doctor, hidden as the human Ruth Jones in present-day Gloucester, who is being hunted by the Jadoon and the mysterious Time Lord agent Gat. It's one of the most shocking episodes of the show, completely catching you off guard with this reveal, along with the surprise return of popular companion Captain Jack Harkness. It's by far one of the most memorable episodes of the 13th Doctor era, and that's why it's comfortably in 7th place. Number 6 Zagreus once again leaving the realms of Doctor Who on TV, sixth place on this list goes to Zagreus, the 50th story and Big Finish's monthly range of Doctor Who audio dramas. This was essentially the 40th anniversary of Doctor Who and it's a truly incredible experience. It's completely incomprehensible to newcomers and its whopping 3 hour 55 minute runtime is definitely not one for the faint of heart. It sees the Doctor lose his mind because he has been taken over by Zagreus, an ancient anti-time creature from before the dark times. It's a very trippy audio and it features every Doctor and companion actor to work with Big Finish up until that point, but not in the ways you'd expect. Number 5 The Next Doctor For 2008's Christmas special, showrunner Russell T Davis decided to really shake things up with a curiously titled episode, The Next Doctor. It has an absolutely incredible premise, introducing us to another Doctor who seems to be from the 10th Doctor's future, with the truth gradually unravelling to reveal that he's actually Jackson Lake, a normal Victorian man who absorbed all of the Doctor's memories and genuinely believed he was a Time Lord. The Cybermen kind of fade into the background, but the significance of the episode really comes from Jackson Lake and his companion Rosita, who was designed as a blend of Rose, Martha and Donna. The next Doctor kind of touches upon the aftermath of the Series 4 finale, whilst also somewhat setting up the following specials. So it's an interesting, well-paced episode with a great soundtrack and a fascinating antagonist in Miss Hartigan. The mystery of Jackson Lake is wonderful, so the next Doctor finds itself in fifth on this list. 
Number 4. Love and Monsters Ok, so this is definitely a controversial one because a lot of people don't like Love and Monsters, but I've always thought it's a fun and creative adventure, seeing the Doctor Who world through the eyes of the everyday man Elton Pope. It's a love letter to the Doctor Who fanbase, showing how the Doctor brings communities together and provides the common ground required for them to be able to bond and form their own personal relationships. Obviously the Absorber Love is a bit terrible and some moments are quite cringe, but in general it's a sweet story with a nice overall message of community and togetherness, but it will never be able to get any higher because of that horrible joke at the end. You know the one. Number 3 Blink. The Weeping Angels are one of the most iconic Doctor Who monsters, which is no surprise given the quality of their debut episode Blink. This is a truly phenomenal Series 3 episode, stranding the Doctor and Martha in 1969 at the hands of the Sinister Stone statues. Stephen Moffat is at his best here, playing with interesting science fiction concepts and giving the Weeping Angels the quality writing to make them such a memorable monster. Even when you re-watch the episode and the horror itself is less effective, the new details and plot elements you notice provide a brand new experience, even when you know what's going to happen. It draws you into the world so effectively with a truly compelling story. There's so much going on, yet it remains a masterfully made piece of science fiction, keeping you on the edge of your seat and it flies by with fantastic pacing. There is no denying that Blink is one of the absolute greatest episodes of Doctor Who, earning the right to begin the top 3 on this list. Number 2 Turn Left There are few episodes better than Turn Left which is absolutely perfect, crafting such an interesting and gripping story in a deeply horrifying alternate universe. It's one of those episodes that could be its own feature length movie, an exceptional tale of timelines and the butterfly effect. It breaks your heart over and over again, including killing off established characters within the universe. The spiral into a crushing dystopian nightmare world is executed flawlessly. From the very first minute until the very last, you remain gripped and entranced by this episode. It's also the perfect way to both explain Rose's mysterious cameos, whilst also leading perfectly into the blockbuster finale, where she reunites with the Doctor. Turn Left thrives with a very experimental nature, telling a dark and captivating Doctor Who narrative, an episode you'll never likely forget, so it nestles snugly into the runner-up place in this countdown. Number 1 – Mission to the Unknown in first place is an episode that doesn't even exist anymore, Mission to the Unknown. Until The Five Daughters, this was the only single episode story in Classic Who, serving as a prequel to the fan favourite epic Dalek's Master Plan. It does a brilliant job introducing all the moving parts of that 12 part saga, such as introducing the planet Kemble, the Masters of the Fifth Galaxy and the evil Varga plants. It's a Doctor Who episode unlike any other, feeling like an entirely different show with its pacing and style. The 2019 UCLA remake is absolutely wonderful, a truly exceptional and faithful recreation of the original episode, which was wiped from the BBC archives and remains only in audio form with some production stills remaining. It's an interesting tactic to make a prelude for a story on the other side of a completely unconnected serial, but Mission to the Unknown does its job very well and it really makes the Daleks a terrifying threat on a human level, therefore it easily takes the top spot on this list. So those are the top 15 Doctor Who stories featuring the Doctor. Disagree with anything? Were there any adventures I left out? Let me know in the comments down below and give me suggestions for future list videos because you never know, I might make them. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons along with the bell button so you never miss another video. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next video. And special thanks to my Asbantium level patron Fallon Cortez, my Platinum level patron Keelan Gillespie and all my Gold level patrons Calvin, Daniel Shilato, Franz Horn AK Line Vortex, Herna Verzog and Luke underscore SY. Thank you so much for your support.